Seize up. Good man. Sure, Steve. Listen, uh, Minda said to you about that do the other night with Alan McKenna. Yeah, well, he deserved it, didn't he? Uh, yeah, I know. Maybe I should have kept my mouth shut, though. I know I was wrong dragging Fiona into it anyway. Yeah, maybe. Well, I feel bad about it, so I do. I mean, maybe I should go and see her, you know? Tell her I didn't mean it quite like that, you know? Nah. No, you're all right. I'll go and see her. Nah. No, you won't. I'll go. Let's keep you clear out of it, all right? What's this? Slacking on the job. All right. Whatever happened to workers' rights, eh? Only kidding. I think you're doing a fantastic job. I see we aim to please, so we do. Yes, we try. Um, what's happening with that contract, then? It's fine. Uh, Mr Slater asked me to send his apologies. Right, well, uh, we're just glad we didn't get the wrong end of the stick, you know. Anyway, it was nice to meet for a drink. Yeah, sorry about the sideshow. Well, now I owe you a drink, Steve. I was wondering if you're free tonight. Yeah, sure. Well, how about I pick you up from your place, say, about quarter to seven? All right. All right. I'll see you later, then. What are you having? Hey, take it easy. That's your third to my second. Ah, oh, well, you're drinking too slowly for me. You sure it isn't something that you're not telling me, Jim? What do you mean by that, William? Well, you've been a bit fired up lately. I was wondering if you had a bit of woman trouble. Oh, do us a favour, Willie. I'm just asking you as a mate. Yeah, all right. Well, just shut up, OK? Hey, do you want another pint? Yeah. Ah, evening both. Evening, sir. Ah, what will it be? Red wine? Yes, I think so. Red wine, sweetheart. Two pints, please, Sandy, when you're ready. Right, you are, Jim. Listen, do I hear that you finally settled on a date at last? Yes, we have indeed, and we are sticking to it. Well, should you wish to organise a local reception, we'd be delighted to catch for you here. Well, that, uh, lovely. Well, uh, Fiona's parents, they've got the, the last sale now, of course. Go. Yeah. And then it says, no, he says, but it sure stops me licking him. <laughs> Back in a second. Jim, wait a second, please, man. What? Can we put the other night behind us now, please? All of it. I'm willing to do that right now, Fiona. Me? Hey? I just want to do it for Fiona. I don't want to come in here and dreading it every time she thinks the three of us might meet up. Do you know what I mean? Are you winding me up, McKenna? No, I'm not. Look. I understand how difficult it must be for you with your son just having come out of prison. But I respect the concern you've got for him. I genuinely mean that. Sorry, what? I'm saying, can't we start again? Find another level. Take the heat out of it. Well, I'll tell you what you do, then. Why don't you stop trying to talk to me for a start, OK? That'll suit Fiona down to the ground. Now, why don't you go back and ask her that, eh? 